Uh, bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. <laughs> uh, good morning, Cannes community. Um, we still have, we already have something similar, the, like racing cars. Our new Golf has got 300 PS. It's quite okay, I think. Um, but today, I would like to talk to you about our special vehicles. When Mr. Selfwanger asked me to have the keynote speech, uh, I thought which kind of new stuff I could tell to you. Um, when now I talk about uh, 125 kilobit CAN system, I think it would be boring to you. So I'd like to give you an insight to our special vehicles and to which kind of, of uh, challenges we face. When we talk at VW about special vehicles, we talk about driving school, cars for handicapped people, which uh, you already might know, uh, taxis, for sure you know, uh, ambulance and fire rescue, and for sure the high end is the police car. At least me, but I think many of you uh, did um, his driving license on a Golf. Uh, in the past, there were no need for connecting special systems at all. Some slight technical improvement um, currently occur, but in the future we, we already see that the learners um, might require visualization of, of the progress of, of what they learned, which might end in an app or might uh, connect the car to, to the environment. This, is, this might be easily done. The car for handicapped people in the past, they mainly focus on mechanical solutions and some slight electrical systems were already in, in that car. But uh, we see technical improvements now need the connections to the in-car network. This can also be done quite fast, I think. But um, some might already think about uh, speech-controlled systems. Speech-controlled means not uh, navigation on, it means put the light on, or um, make the windscreen wiper, thank you, uh, on. And this might be possible, but we, this still is a challenge. All of you know a taxi. Taxis are uh, already, there's already a connection in, to the car and connection to the in-car network. Um, currently we see that the taxi market is very quick growing to high-end technology. Uh, this really is high-end. And um, also the connection to the environment is needed. The taxi market remains very individual from country to country, even from city to city. Um, the networking also between those taxi cars is uh, needed um, via communication systems. And this, for sure, is quite a big challenge for the future. The ambulance and the fire rescue cars uh, in the past mainly focus on medical and fire equipment. And uh, for sure they have to have communication with the headquarter. Currently the focus expands to higher efficiency. Those cars have to be very quick and um, for sure they need telematic services already today. In the future also, the requirements are focused on high efficiency and availability, and for sure on information in interchange. But today, I'd like to tell you uh, about the police cars. So police cars in the, in the past, they had requirements um, which could, uh, could be fulfilled by the usage of isolate functions, which means hey, there's a new function, I draw a cable to the middle of the car, put a switch in there, and there is my new function, great. But this doesn't work anymore. Um, the focus expands to increase the efficiency and the, the safety. The driver workspace already to lack, uh, today lacks of ergonomic solutions. Uh, quite a lot of switches have to be handled, quite a lot of radio systems, and so on. So, as you can see later, high-end requirements on communications uh, are faced for the future. The focus on information in, uh, interchange between the headquarter and other police cars is needed. 
and for sure also the telematic systems. I guess um, none of you ever had the chance to drive in a, in a police car, I hope. <laughs> The technical equipment of a current police car requires already today's up to four different radio systems working at a time, which means at least two analog systems, a digital system and mobile radio systems. Um, Germany tried to introduce the digital uh, radio systems uh, for the Expo 2000, and today they didn't uh, finish that, 13 years later. A uh, police car sometimes has up to two light bars on a roof. And one light bar, when I uh, have a view on, on a Heller light bar, it has uh, roughly 2,400 different functions and configurations, which means a light bar doesn't only light blue light, it has not all only an alarm siren. And when I started two years ago, I already knew uh, that uh, texts can be depicted, like stop police or um, so something like that. We have 2,400 per light bar. Um, when I focus uh, on the German market, we have 16 departments. And all of those 16 departments, Sachsen, Niedersachsen, Bavaria, and so on, they have completely different requirements. Uh, which means when, when Bavaria asks for video systems, the colleagues in Hanover in Niedersachsen, Lower Saxony, they tell me, oh, it's strictly forbidden over here. So we have to face this market with very different needs. And the technical equipment is sometimes very old. It passes from car to car. Our police cars, they have a duration from two up to five years in, in, in the market. But uh, when I think on, on radio, on a special radio system, uh, I know radio systems which are 25 years old and also in the, in the automotive, in, in the car. And for example, such a radio system um, only works with a voltage uh, not below 11.8 volts. And this is quite, quite problematic when you have a start-stop system, for example, in your car. So we have very old technique in the, in the car. Um, a police car is not built within the line, which means you get a Passat, for example, out of the line, and then you get in a special uh, service uh, factory, and there it is dismounted, dismantled, totally dismounted. Um, for drawing the cables and so on. And this is quite ineffective. Modern policing requires high-end technology, but not this way. You see, uh, there's no space for information system, inf um, information system, infotainment system, um, the, 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 the radios are in a hand, but these are only uh, two handles. And this is just a brief example. We don't want, it to, want to do it this way. Current special cars reach their limit of usability and expandability. We can't put in anything anymore. The approach of drawing another cable and putting another switch in there is not available anymore. Current functions are isolated which each, uh, among each other without any interlinking. We have big effort and cost for dismantling at the end of the lifetime the special cars, which means huge losses. Uh, the, the, the car looks like a Swiss um, cheese because of all those holes for the switches and so on. And unfortunately, we have a big effort in assuring the quality of the isolated functions, which are mainly provided by, by partner companies um, and not by VW. It, which means it's impossible to fulfill the future requirements with the current approach. Well, <laughs> this, is, this uh, seems like being a blue screen. When I have such a blue screen at home, 
maybe one hour of work has disappeared. When I have such a blue screen at the ICC, I might get angry. But when you get such a blue screen in a police car driving onto a crossroad and trying to switch on the blue light and the alarm, this might be very dangerous, for sure. So we care very much for, for the quality at VW, for also for those special cars. The goal is, one of our goals is to improve the development process, which means we have to speed up the development process and decrease the test effort, but increase the test steps. This is a, is a challenge, I can tell you. Another focus is, uh, another goal is to focus on the handling. Currently, we have roughly 20 functions in a police car. Uh, the future says that we need at least 100 special functions in a police car, including um, diagnosis and so on. And we, we know that we will bring many future functionality, which is uh, impossible today which is uh, video, radio, as I told you, special navigational systems, and for sure, fleet management. For all this, we need a dedicated in-car communication network. We cannot use the common in-car communication network, CAN, FlexRay, great system, and um, we have to use a dedicated uh, in-car network to finish the isolated function approach and create synergies between those uh, functions as we know them today. And although we, we have a very small market, which are a few thousand uh, cars a year, we have to, have, we have to provide a multi-supplier strategy because the customers, they want it that way. And we will provide it in the future also. The overall goal is to feel, fulfill the needs of tomorrow's customers with a known VW quality, not only in police cars, but also in all these other special cars that you've seen before. The approach is the Volkswagen Sonderfahrzeugassistent, as it, is, as it says in Germany, but it's some, some kind of special car assistant. We need a tidy workspace, tidy and cleared workspace, which looks like that. We have a centralized handling, handling via touch screen, and this touch screen is a normal, serious infotainment system in the car, which, in which uh, not even one bit was changed. It is the normal system. And the customers, they need additional hard keys, some slight hard keys, which are 10 in this uh, case. These hard keys are needed because we are talking about a computer system. Each computer system has got a boot up time, which is 10 to 12 seconds at this time. But a police car, he has to start immediately, and he has to start with a blue light. So we need some hard keys for blue light, the alarm, um, and some other things. Um, these hard keys are required by the customers. We also uh, have some special video systems in there, um, which is um, when you turn on the blue light, uh, the video is saved to a compact flash car um, in the front and rear car. We have two cameras in there. In the next steps, um, we will have a number plate recognition. A number plate recognition makes sense um, when the police uh, man drives through its city uh, the video system can, can see each number play and compare it to a list of uh, um, search cars. And when such a car has been found, uh, the, only then the policeman will be, will be told by, by a pop-up. And the policeman can then uh, decide what to do. Well, it's up to him. And we have some special navigation system. Uh, the special navigation, uh, I guess all of you has got a navigation system in, in your car at home, but this does uh, something very special. The first is that when the policeman gets an order, the, the uh, navigation system immediately starts and there's no need to put in the, the target. 
it's known by the system. The second step is that a police car is able or even allowed to drive through areas where no one of us is allowed to, um, which means um, one way, just the other way, which means driving through a pedestrian area and maybe he can also drive uh, through a park area. And this is allowed and the navigation system knows the shortest and fastest way to its target. And the, the third item of our special navigation is that we uh, show some dynamic point of interest. Point of interest, I guess or, uh, each of you know that, is uh, the tanking area or the McDonald's restaurant. But this is not the purpose for the policeman. Uh, we have dynamic point of interest, which means we show uh, the policeman where the other cars are driving. Um, this also is another step to increase efficiency of uh, the police work. We decided to use the CanOpen CIA 447, which is a dedicated special car uh, network. Um, we have one ECU called the Sonderfahrzeugassistent, but the, the Sonderfahrzeugassistent is more than that. It is a system. It is a system consisting of own and bought uh, applications. As I told you, we have the possibility to handle each and everything via the touch screen. And we have to have one firewall ECU because we, we don't want to have an influence on a brake system or something like this. And both the VW ECUs and the partner ECUs are connected to the CIA 447, which is only possible by standardization by using the standardization. For sure, sub-networks sub are allowed, which means our video systems are connected via Ethernet, and the radio systems they are connected um, via an interface called Pi. Maybe some of you might know that. So the benefit of the CIA 447 in special cars is first, the harmonization of the database, for sure. It allows us a multi-supplier strategy. And the CA447 also allows us to use standard software. We use the standard software of ES Academy and the development of the functions instead of communication stack speeds up the development and decreases the test effort, which means the partners, they can focus on their functions, not on the communication. And the standardization allows the usage of synergies between different functions. It enables new functions therewith. An example is with comparable hardware. We in the past had roughly 20 functions and in the future we strive to have roughly 100 functions, which might be possible, not already included, but they will be possible. And also, we have uh, the task to increase the efficiency at our work, and this can be done with the same effort, we hope. Um, the special car system, Sonderfahrzeug Assistant, will start. The first customer will get their cars in calendar week 10 next year. So this is not just imagination, this is reality. I hope. You never have to admire the functionality of the Sonderfahrzeugassistent in a police car in reality. Thank you very much.